In the late 1930s, the United States Antarctic Service embarked on an ambitious mission to explore Antarctica. The goal was to conduct scientific research and to claim a portion of the continent for the United States, which was seen as a key strategic asset at the time. The expedition was led by Admiral Richard Byrd, a veteran explorer who had already made several expeditions to the polar regions. Hello and welcome to the Nerd Channel, let's get going. One of the most notable pieces of equipment that the expedition brought with them was the Antarctic Snow Cruiser. Designed by Thomas Poulter, an engineer from Chicago, the Snow Cruiser was a massive vehicle, measuring 55 feet long and weighing over 37 tons. It was powered by two diesel engines and had a top speed of 30 miles per hour. The Snow Cruiser was equipped with a kitchen, sleeping quarters, and even a radio room. It was designed to transport the expedition team and their equipment across the treacherous Antarctic terrain, which was known for its rugged terrain, extreme weather conditions, and lack of infrastructure. The vehicle was built to be self-sufficient, with enough food, water, and supplies to sustain the crew for several months. After being transported to Antarctica by ship, the snow cruiser was assembled and made its way to the continent's interior. However, it soon became apparent that the vehicle was not well suited to the harsh Antarctic conditions. The wheels, which were made of rubber, struggled to gain traction on the ice and snow, and the vehicle's sheer size made it difficult to maneuver through narrow passages and over rough terrain. Despite these challenges, the expedition team pressed on, using the snow cruiser as a mobile research station and base of operations. They conducted geological surveys, collected specimens of plant and animal life, and even used the vehicle's powerful searchlight to study the Aurora Australis. One of the most memorable moments of the expedition occurred when the snow cruiser encountered a crevasse, a deep crack in the ice that is a common hazard in Antarctica. The vehicle managed to cross the crevasse, but only after a tense and nerve-wracking few minutes. The crew later remarked that they were grateful to be alive, and that the snow cruiser had saved their lives. But as the Antarctic winter set in, the situation took a turn for the worse. Temperatures dropped well below freezing, and the vehicle's fuel and heating systems began to falter. The team was forced to huddle together in their sleeping quarters for warmth, relying on survival rations and whatever meager heat they could generate. In a desperate attempt to save the snow cruiser, the team dug a pit in the ice and buried the vehicle, hoping that the snow would insulate it and keep it warm. But when they returned to the site months later, they found that the snow had actually caused the vehicle to sink even deeper into the ground, making it even more difficult to extricate. After several failed attempts to free the snow cruiser, the expedition team was forced to abandon it and return to the United States. The vehicle remained buried in the ice for decades, until it was rediscovered in the 1950s. By that point it was largely in ruins, with many of its parts corroded and damaged beyond repair. Despite its failure, the Antarctic Snow Cruiser remains a fascinating relic of a bygone era, a testament to the courage and ingenuity of early explorers who pushed the boundaries of human knowledge and endurance. Today, it serves as a reminder of the risks and challenges faced by those who venture into the world's most extreme environments, and a symbol of our unending quest to explore the unknown. If you're interested in learning more about the Antarctic Snow Cruiser, there are many resources available online, including books, articles, and documentaries. You can also visit the vehicle itself at the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago, where it has been on display since 1971. The Snow Cruiser may have ultimately failed in its mission to conquer the harsh Antarctic environment, but its legacy lives on. It inspired subsequent generations of explorers and engineers to develop new and innovative solutions to the challenges of polar exploration, from snowmobiles and tracked vehicles to more advanced research stations and drilling equipment. As we continue to push the limits of what is possible in the polar regions and beyond, the story of the Antarctic Snow Cruiser serves as a reminder of the courage, determination, and sheer grit required to explore the unknown. 
It reminds us that failure is often a necessary step on the path to success, and that even the greatest challenges can be overcome with persistence, creativity, and a willingness to take risks. So the next time you find yourself facing a daunting task or embarking on a new adventure, remember the story of the Antarctic snow cruiser. Let it inspire you to push beyond your limits, to embrace the unknown, and to never give up on your dreams, no matter how impossible they may seem. As we wrap up this exploration of the Antarctic snow cruiser, we hope you enjoyed learning about this fascinating piece of history. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our channel for more explorations of the world's most intriguing and inspiring stories. And if you want to support our channel, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell to stay up to date on our latest videos. If you don't know about the flying ship click here. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next adventure.